Good morning friends, I am Shankar from Shankar AS Academy. I am here to guide you how to choose the option. The biggest challenge for any civil service aspirant is choosing the optional. There are a lot of rumors, myths and stories about the optionals. Friend, I will first start with what not to do about the selecting the optionals. Friend, one thing, first one is, don't follow the trend. That means, if one option is getting boom, then people what they will do means they will choose the particular option. For example, if geography is boom in particular area, people will go for geography. Don't make a mad rush towards the optionals. So please see that whether it will be suitable for you or not. Then you decide whether that optional is okay for you or not. Then second one is friend. <coughs> Normally, the people will go to the coaching institutions. They will take the uh, optionals, whatever the coaching institutions will say. Friend, don't follow the coaching institution advice as such because those who are running institutions, they will try to convert the, yourself to the particular option which they want to put admissions. So don't follow the coaching institute advice as such. Second one is don't choose the optional because that your friend has chosen particular option so I am choosing it. That is the biggest blender in the uh, blender in the civil service optional selecting and there are some advice will come if you take one option there will be a lot of syllabus is covered in a uh, general studies and if you take public administration you will become a IAS officer then it will be useful then if you take a political science then thousand mark will be covered in a uh, general studies then everyone can to, uh, can take that particular options and they can go select and get a service so it is not right that means no person from a law or no person from a botany or no person from physics should not be selected in the uh, uh, final uh, final list so it is not that since that some syllabus is covered in a gs it doesn't mean that you have to choose that particular options so this kind of mistakes please avoid here then i will go for the persons who can choose their own degree for example the students from law commerce economics agriculture medicine veterinary these people's my advice is better go for a your own options but sir i have a doubt what to do uh, i'm not liking my own degree means then i will go one by one for example if you are not liking a law if you're a law graduate if you're not liking a law your second option could be it could be yeah public administration so this is the, my advice for example the students with economics Friend, better go for a economics or otherwise you can choose any art subject. Don't go for a science subject. Third one is for agriculture. Agriculture students, the best advice is either you go for agriculture or you go for a botany or you can go for a geography. This is the little favorable optionals. And those who are in the medicine, for either go for a medicine or you can think about second is anthropology. Third one is it is psychology or fourth one is better you can go for a zoology or fifth one is it can be a geography. And those with the commerce and management either go with commerce or management or better go for economics. But once you want to take economics as option be ensured that you are little good in a max. And those veterinary students better go for a veterinary or you can go for a zoology or you can go for a geography. This is the our anthropology. These are the four uh, optionals. Right. Then I would like to say that, sir, uh, first don't go to any institutions or any advice, just to suggest uh, optionals. First you say whether you like science or a non-science optional. If you are decided that science is your little favorable subject, better go and choose that optionals like a uh, geography, anthropology and little extent to the psychology. This is the best advice. Sir, I am non-science optionals, that is particularly uh, public administration, sociology, political science. These are the best advice for the students with the non-science optionals. Right. <clears throat> Here, so what we have to do means, first before selecting optional, you first narrow down to two optionals, particularly for example, Pababad and sociology. If you have decided, don't go with the five optionals and ask the suggestions, go with the two optionals, then before going that, you go through the NCRT. For example, if NCRT are basic books, very basic books of public administration or a NCRT of sociology, read it for over three to five days. After that, you select, compare that where your inclination is, where your inclination is more. So then you go with these two options, then analyze the positives and negatives and little bit of trend analysis. Trend analysis, not completely, like as I said in the earlier, don't go with the madras. Then you have to think about the guidance availability. Any options you can select, but think about the guidance availability. Then you can think about your writing skill, whether you are the science-oriented writing skill or an arts-oriented 
point and writing skill is there. So then you go to the optionals, then you decide the insecurities, then you go for advice and for any coaching institutions or seniors or those who are got into the service. But that optionals may be suitable for him. Only you analyze the positives and negatives. Then you sit for a few days and then you decide what you want to do. Right. One more thing I want to say <coughs> that for a, who can select a economics optional friend nowadays the economics is also coming up a lot of engineering students are selecting even in our institution engineering students are selecting economics as optional but before choosing economic optional be ensure that you are little good in a max this is also small advice friend <coughs> one thing I want to say no optional is good no optional is bad every option is having an equal opportunity only thing is because if uh, only thing is you have to decide where your inclination is more and second one is if your common sense is correct because this exam is only based on a common sense and understanding of your questions your understanding of question is good in uh, science or a geography your understanding will be good in public administration also so if you are able to write geography good you can write uh, economics also good you can write a public administration also good you can write a sociology also good but only thing is you have to check your inclination towards the particular subject right this is uh, my best advice so don't follow the trend second don't follow the coaching institution advice don't follow uh, the coaching institution advice as such don't follow the friends uh, what your friends is choosing and first narrow down towards the science or non-science uh, read a insecurity go for advice with the two optionals don't go with the four optionals these are the my best advice friend follow us subscribe our shankarais academy youtube channels and coming days we are going to put each optionals what are the advantages and disadvantages and every after every slide because each professor will say the positives and negatives of each subject but the choosing of the optional list, it should be surely depend on a self-analysis. Don't make a mad rush for a train and do mistake. I wish you all the best for your coming days. Thank you. Subscribe Shankaraya's Academy YouTube channel. Thank you.